Bollywood has some amazing potential to make amazing movies, especially in the superhero genre. But unfortunately, this is one section which hasn't been well exploited, despite having some movies like Ra One and Krish with some amazing production value. So let's look at what is the problem in marketing these superhero movies in India. Welcome to today's discussion. Today we'll be talking about why superhero movies in India are so poorly marketed. Now when I say superhero movies in India, I refer particularly to the recent releases of Krish and Ravan. Now these movies have got so much potential to be on par with the Hollywood movies when it comes to superhero genre. But still, the marketing of these movies hasn't been that great. Why do you think that the marketing of superhero movies in India is not on par with the ones of the West? Well, superheroes in India are characterized poorly to begin with. Uh, they don't have much of a backstory. Uh, their, their backdrop is not really so good. Like the origin stories of these superheroes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they just randomly came and they got their parts. It's, it's only just a superhero pitted against a supervillain. There's no situation, there's no story going on here. Just, they just end up with the powers and so they find a bad guy, they fight with him. Ajay, when a trial becomes a dogma, that is something that will spoil whatever the essence of the plot and the story is altogether. So the dogma here, in the sense, uh, the repetition of whatever had been done in the past is the plot and the characterization. So when a, when a characterization is not done perfect, when uh, it is taken from the previous one, it won't be good because time keeps changing. The value of perception by the people, the viewers, that also keeps changing. So Bollywood is under the impression that we will accept any movie provided that it's, uh, it has a superstar whom we are very familiar with. They are, uh, you could say that they are under the impression that we don't really look for a detailed plot. We just look for someone good looking on screen wearing a mask and fighting a villain. We don't really want to know why he is doing it in the first place and how did he get to be that way and, what, and the whole history behind this person. So that's... Now if you, if you observe Hollywood superheroes, most of them originate out of comic books. So comic books are basically created with absolutely no one in mind. They start from scratch, they give them their own super abilities, their own super powers and their own backdrop. But in Bollywood it's not so. They, they, they actually put a star uh, behind the screen and uh, behind the role and then uh, they build the whole story, the whole superhero thing behind him. So, so this is where the imagination is coming. In a comic book you can explain the origin of this person, the story of this person for a series of time. But in the movie you just can't do that in the one, hour, one and a half hours or the two hours that you have. Okay. Bollywood doesn't really have any memorable villains as far as I can recall, especially from movies like Krish and Rawan. But if I look at the older Bollywood movies, they've had some really amazing villains. And because of these villains, the movies have been very successful. Now if I talk about a movie like Shole, although it is not a superhero movie, the movie has been very successful because of cover sync. And even to this day, even my generation, your generation, is still able to remember dialogues of Shole, is still able to remember the character of cover sync. And even if I consider a fairly recent movie of Mr. India, it's not really recent, but we we'll call it recent, uh, even a character like Mogambo, his notorious dialogue, Mogambo Kushua, is still in our heads even in this day and age. So why do you think Bollywood is not able to come up with a villain like how Hollywood is able to do it? Now, if you see Hollywood movies, they're actually created for like the whole uh, age group. But Indian movies are aimed at children. So the villains, the super villains here are uh, characterized as simple people like with just the main aim of taking over the world and there's no really, not really much backstory and uh, the producers don't feel the need to give them a, uh, an elaborate backstory and make them really notorious as you call it. But they, they, just, they spend more time towards the heroes. So that is why super villains are not really... Not great. as popular as the hero themselves. Yeah. What do you think Ajay? For a movie to be commercially and critically successful, the villains uh, should be somewhat memorable. I, I do agree to your point. Like, uh, if you see the Batman's Joker, there are scenes in which the director gives even minor detailing wherein uh, the Joker wants himself to be shot. He asks, he puts the gun into uh, the hostage's hand. 
he he takes himself as the hostage and he asks himself to be shot but he pulls down the trigger by yeah, himself he holds scene. the trigger so it is such a the, the director has uh, put in so much of thoughts to it and uh, even the minor detailing has to be noticed by the people so that is the attention value that movies gain when you talk about merchandising that's a great way for a brand to make extra money but when you talk about bollywood merchandise like the krish mask or even for example the krish game was that if i'm not wrong and the raw one game as well this is something which none of us are able to take very seriously but on the other hand if you want to take a batman game like batman arkham asylum or arkham city we are ready to accept that we are even ready to wear a batman costume uh, the cape and cowl but why is it that we are not able to wear something like the krish mask or even the ravan costume well if you notice bollywood movies most of their merchandise most of their post movie production stunts and all are aimed at children are aimed at smaller age groups if you but if you notice hollywood superheroes most of the batman t-shirts and all are made just for teenagers cool lines cool t-shirts and cool merchandise are made just for t-shirts i i could never imagine a teenager wearing a krish mask so i i, I would like to say that uh, a bollywood movie is more kid oriented while a, uh, while a hollywood superhero movie uh, concentrates on all age groups and uh, they actually take it seriously what do you think ajay there is a, there is actually a lot of science behind uh, the batman's mask and this uh, armor costume and uh, almost is get everything yeah. that he uses even his car that, that has been sold for around uh, Three billion dollars. Uh, if I'm not wrong, the Bat movie. Two years ago, I suppose I had read in the newspaper that uh, three billion dollars uh, for a car, and it's a movie. That is a post-movie production. The, the production house is going to get the profits. So the science behind it should uh, appeal to excessive uh, amount of people, and uh, it should not be concentrated towards uh, one particular age group or a particular sect of the society. it's something like when we look at a batman costume we know that it's cool because of the science behind it but when we look at a krish mask it just appears as it's a sheet of paper on our face and nothing more than that this discussion was a very interesting one uh, thank you ajay thank you atish i hope you will be part of the future videos which we will be shooting here as well uh, thank you for your time in spending here